What's up, guys? Welcome back to Fishing Barren Sea. You like my new boat? No, just kidding. I'm I, I'm I'm right here. I'm for some reason. I think they moved the port and put this huge freaking boat beside me. Now, uh, I almost killed my boat just loading into the game. I'm at 19% health right now uh, because I was banging. It was basically like a pinball machine in here. I was banging off the boat. I was banging off the side. Uh, yeah, that's just great. So now we got to go over there. We definitely docked here, right? So I am not crazy. This is just weird. All right, so now... I'm just gonna try and go ahead here. I, I'm really glad my boat totally didn't get destroyed, but, uh... Yeah, boy was I in for a surprise in this episode of Fishing Barren Sea. So, welcome back, guys! I can't get off the wall here. I'm gonna have to drive straight a little bit. And then churn, so we can turn our little butt sideways. But yeah, we're back, guys! We're gonna be going out fishing again today. You guys really, really like this game. And that's amazing to me! I love it when you guys love these weird simulation games, because I love these weird simulation games. So, it's a perfect mixture. Now, the main goal today is to hopefully get to the next boat. Uh, that would be something I would really like to do. I think I can probably get a lot of money really, really quickly. As long as we don't destroy our boat, of course. If we keep ping-ponging off of other ships, that's obviously not good, but this thing's been upgraded quite a bit, and I think I'm not going to upgrade it anymore. I just want to get to the next ship, because uh, these waters are scary. It actually warns you in the loading screen that uh, this boat can sink. So, I'm a little scared to go deeper into the water, because obviously I don't want to sink. But we're back out. Let's actually... What's going on? Because last time I was here... Okay, so these things have been in for six hours. Now, you guys let me know that uh, I believe blue is the time that I need to go get these things. I thought it was green, but uh, thank you guys for your suggestions. I think it's blue now. So let's go to the fish market. We have no fish currently. What do we have? We're at 70,000 kroner, uh, and we still have two unbaited lines. So we're going to... Well, first of all, let's check out our logbook. So I didn't really show too much of this. We have uh, some quests going on right now. What's the date? It's August. So August over here, uh, haddock season has just started. The local government wants to increase production at local fisheries. Haddock prices have risen 20%, that looks like. So obviously we should probably focus on getting that because that's going to be an extra 20% profits for us. So with that information, let's figure out what haddock like. We can go to this and actually, oh, I don't know which each fish is. All right, I have to Google what a haddock looks like. All right, and going to Google Images, it looks like, well, it could, oh my god, it could be either one of these. It could be yellow or green. They have the same finish. All right, so our choices are crab and mackerel, basically. I'm thinking it's the green guy, just judging by <laughs> Google Images. It's very hard to tell, though. They're very similar fish, obviously. So, I think I'm gonna go for mackerel here. We'll hope for the best, and if we don't, if we aren't right, we still have a really good chance at getting Haddock, just because the orange is so high as well. Alright, so we got here pretty early. We They've only been cooking for 12 hours, so what I'm gonna do, I think, let's actually turn on all species. You can see the fish are indeed moving. If you remember last time, we had some really good pockets here. Now they're kind of gone, so what I think I'm gonna do is start expanding out our known zones. Well, we're just kind of waiting for these things to go. So let's fast travel over there, and we know that going in this direction is going to open up parts of the new map. All right, getting into some bigger waves, as you can see. There's definitely some differences in the environments as we go around, uh, which is really cool. This game's really impressive in terms of the environment I'm finding. There's storms, there's wildlife. It looks like we got a wave up ahead. Uh, it's unfortunately, we're not finding anything over here, but... Even, like, we got a little island. I mean, this is just... I wonder how accurate... A lot of you guys are actually saying you live in uh, Hammerfist or whatever it's called. Yeah, Hammerfest. Sorry. Ha Hammerfest would be a cooler name, but Hammerfest is pretty cool, too. Uh, so, let me know how accurate does this look to where you live, because it looks like the game is really detailed in terms of the map. And I assume it would be. This is a, a simulation game, after all. But that just interests me, how, how realistic the environment is in this game. All right, unfortunately, sonar is looking pretty barren, but uh, we're going to have to drop this now if we want to try it here. So I'm going to take a risk. I'll hope for the best that we got something here, and uh, yeah, hopefully some more fish show up. That's for sure. So, oh, there's a little fish, so that's a good sign. Hopefully, we'll at least catch a few of them. We're definitely not going to do as good as the first day, though. We had a really good spot for fish. Uh, so I'm just going to move ahead a little bit and put down this other line. And then I guess we gotta we gotta kind of just wait until the other lines are ready. 
All right, we let the line soak for a little bit. They're unfortunately green right now, which isn't bad. It's just not the perfect blue. So we did wait a little bit too long, but hopefully they got a lot on them. Uh, all right, so we got to slow down to grab this. Let's do that. And we are going to haul that gear. How many do we got this time? That's the important part. We got to figure out 11. So that's a decent load. That's for sure. And the final one, finally a redfish. That was the first redfish. So yeah, we got mostly Pollock. Okay, so the haddock is the green looking one. We have to remember that. Um, would you like to gut the fish? Yes, I would. And uh, now let's do this. Now you guys let me know the, uh, the water things are, I guess, waves. So it makes sense that your blade's gonna go towards the waves. Oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna have to get used to that again. It is hard to do that, man. We still got, I mean... Three stars? That's pretty good. It looked like it was awful, but I guess you're supposed to fail a little bit. And I'm very good at failing this. That's that's true. Oh, oh, come on. Yes! That's what I'm talking about. Almost a perfect one. One day I'm going to get the perfect one. We almost got it again. All right, come on. The redfish. We don't got too many of these guys, so this is probably the one where I'm going to get a perfect. You watch just because... We have, like, none of them, and perfect. And what does the second line got? Not as good. We got one out of nine, but uh, if we can get perfects, maybe. Come on, get the perfect. Get the perfect. Ugh! I mean, it's 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 not easy to do this, but, uh, yeah, it's all about the timing. And I, I do like these mini games. It adds a little bit of difference to a simulation game, and it does feel really cool to have a bunch of little mini games. Okay, so what do we got? 5,000, 15,000, 24 for Pollock. Wow. Uh, how many? Okay, we had we had quite a bit more than uh, as compared to the rest of these guys, so I guess that makes sense. That gave us quite a bit of money, though. 40,000 kroner on that one. So we're at 90. Oh, God, slow down. It just, it just hit the damn uh, dock. So wait, Haddock? All right, now I'm very confused, because if we go to sales, the Haddock is this, this guy with the one fin. I thought... I googled it. He's got multiple fins, so I don't even... I don't even know what's going on. All right, so let's let's make sure we get the haddock, though, because they're worth the most. And obviously, that's what we want. We want lots of money. So, uh, yeah, back to the fish market. Got to remember to do everything here. We want to rebate our line. So we want to do the... It's got to be the yellow one. None of these even have one fin. They're different images. That's what makes it even more confusing, because the images in the sails is a different fish. Oh, my God. All right, I, I'm, I'm just going to go... I'm gonna say that this is probably the wrong one and we should be going for the yellow dude. Problem is, we don't have bait that's really catered to that. So let's try crab. Crab looks like it to be the best and uh, it should be good. All right, I think I saw something though. If we go to purchase boat, is this? Yes, unfortunately, this big boy is locked. I think it kind of wants me to upgrade this boat first. Let's actually go, I guess I gotta open fish market because I wanna go to my log book. Um, because I saw certificates down here. So the tiny fishing bed vessel, uh, progress to next certificate. Okay, so we actually need to travel distance. So that's a good idea. So we are going to want to travel our distance, and that should unlock maybe the next ship, or it unlocks the ability to purchase this ship, and then maybe we can buy employees to control that ship. I, I want to get to the next ship. Hopefully we can today. I guess we're going to find out pretty quickly once we get the certificate, if we can. Or not. And perfect timing. Look at that. They're blue. That's that's the ultimate goal. So uh, something is blocking your ability to fast travel. What? Is there a... Oh! Jesus, you scared me there. Okay, well, this, this rogue boat really likes to screw me up, I guess. Uh, he actually moved, unless this is a different one. I like that, though. There's random boats that randomly go about, because we've never seen a boat here, and we've passed here a million times, so... Kind of interesting. All right, so can we fast travel now, though, over to where we were? Let's get as close as we can. And it should be, yes, right out our right-hand side. Hopefully this... I, I'm curious about this one because this didn't really have a lot of fish around it. So if we get a lot of fish here, we really don't need to find the big pockets of fish. Uh, but if we don't, obviously, that's going to be a major goal. So grab that first line and let's see how many are on the line. That's the indicator right there. Oh, yeah. Jesus Christ. One out of three? Oh, uh, we really got to find the fish pockets, clearly. And the second line, one out of four. A little bit better. I guess I can't complain with that. But, uh, yeah, it's clear we're going to need to expand out our territory here to find out where the fish truly are. And uh, that's going to be a little bit of a process, man. 
All right, so we did another run. We're at 116,000 kroners now. Now, I did notice, though, we got a lot of haddock around, guys. I It, it looks like there's not much fish when you go to all, but uh, we're missing a lot of the other fish. Haddock are still in abundance over here, especially over here, so I might explore that a little bit. Uh, and also, I noticed, finally, I figured out how to understand which fish is which fish. Duh! It's on this map, so we want to get this guy. So let's go buy some bait. And it is the orange. Unfortunately, that means the, the best guy for us is going to be mackerel, I think. I wonder if we can get new different types of baits later. Uh, because there's really no easy way to get haddock, unfortunately. Compared to the other fish, that is. Like, look at this one. So I guess we're going to go mackerel crazy now. And I think I'm also going to buy a sixth line just because we're probably going to need it. How much is the difference between this? Okay, so it is double the price for double the line. So obviously, I'm, I'm going to play it cheap right now and buy that. Uh-oh. Oh my god, I forgot to do it again. It should really warn you, you know? It, it should definitely warn you. Oh, it's getting all foggy and everything. Well, I guess we got a call for rescue. We can see how this works. Would you like to call the rescue service for 10,000 kroners? Man, you guys are killing me! I'm just trying to make a living out here. Okay, you've been towed back to port, and your boat is being repaired and refilled. Well, that's nice of them. At least they did that. Oh, what's up, dudes? My bros are back! We got uh, a small pod of whales. You guys let me know what a, a pack of whales is called, so thank you for that. Looks like, yeah, there's only two of them this time. Can we run them over? I, I, I know that's sick, but, uh, you know what, for science, we, we, we need to try, you know? And it doesn't look like it really affects them. All right, looks like we are making it to another port here. Right here is where we gotta go in my quest to, uh, finish up this certificate. Uh, I have been exploring a little bit, so we are almost there. We got some lines cooking. We're at 160 kroner right now. Now, I was noticing, though, the bank loans, they tend to change every day, so... I like that about this game. Sometimes you can miss really good deals, other times you can find really big bank loans. Last I looked, I had one for 800,000, so I don't think it's going to be too hard to get to the next boat, but we do got to take into account interest rates. We can really screw ourselves over if we get too uh, greedy here. Looks like we also got a storm coming in. What's going on right now? Friday, uh, winds of 7 meters a second, so really not that bad. It looks like Sunday is going to be really... Actually, no, it's, it's going to be really wavy, I'm assuming that's what that means. Uh, I'm not really sure what the waves mean, so... There's not going to be too much uh, wind, so I don't know if there will be too much waves. But here we are. I have no idea what this place is. We're going to find out. Rip, ripe Ford! Ripe Fjord? That's probably how to say it. Ripe Fjord. Well, here we are at another place. We're going to dock here. And what I like about these um, places, well, you get reputation, which is really cool, obviously, in a game like this. Uh, the more you work with the uh, town, the better the town will treat you. But also, certain places have different um, things you can do. So let's open the map and see what we can do here. So we can sell our fish and we can regas here. That's it. Uh, our main place, we can do all four things. Uh, there's a bar and... I, I, I guess the other ones repair, and we also got this one over here, which we can sell and refill as well. So I was hoping for a little bit more at Ripe Fjord, but uh, whatever. We still got another place anyways. That means that's uh, another place we can go to to refill if we do need to, and that's what we're going to do right now. Oh, there we go. Yes, we got Junior Certificate Boat Numero 2. Finally, we got it, so that feels good. Uh, I guess we could technically buy that now, so let's go check out the loans after we're done this trip here. I did let these guys, uh, soak. We got a perfect one here. This one's been cooking for a little bit too long, uh, but it's still gonna be damn near perfect. So, this should be, hopefully, a lot of fish if we get lucky here. Oh, 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 keep it nice and stable. There we go. Haul it up. How many do we got this time? Lately, I've been getting pretty lucky. Yeah, about 10 areas, so really not bad at all. Redfish, I haven't seen many of those yet, so... Kind of nice to see those, actually, because I think they're worth a little bit more money, or maybe they're just bigger fish. Uh, therefore, they have more weight to them. I have no idea. All right, one line down, one more to go. Uh, it should be right over here somewhere. Maybe it's more straight. Yes, there it is right there. Spotted it. Uh, it's actually kind of fun fishing at night because you really got to do use your searchlight because you can't really see too much. I'm hoping we'll have 40 grand worth of fish right now because I don't want to get a huge loan, so... My mind says a $250,000 loan should be okay, or kroner loan, whatever you want to call it. But I don't want to go too much higher than that, so I'm really gunning on getting a decent amount of fish here. At least 40000 I don't know if we'll get that lucky, though. We might need to get a little bit of a bigger loan. 
or simply do some more fishing. Oh god, I missed it. No, I hate this. Now I gotta rearrange myself and uh, re-pull in. Okay, line numero two. What do we got? One out of seven. That's a really bad sign. This is gonna not be a full load, unfortunately. Therefore, we're probably not gonna even get close to 40 grand. I'm gonna on like 25 grand now. It's not a huge deal. I just didn't want to get a huge loan. But in retrospect, I'll probably need a large loan because with a bigger boat becomes more expenses. I actually did do some research on the job system. I cannot hire anybody on this boat, but on the next boat, I can have one employee. So that's gonna be another expense I gotta deal with. I gotta assume we should use larger lines as well, depending on how much storage we have. But uh, yeah, we'll figure that out. Let's go back home real quick and see if there's any decent loans that we can pick up to, uh, oh, why does it do this? For some reason it thinks I haven't explored part of this, uh, but there we go. Okay, we're good. All the way back. I do actually like this system of, uh, fast travel. It's actually very easy to use. It just is a little glitchy sometimes. That should take us right to the dock, though. Still have to gut my fish. I have, uh, turned off the notification to get your fish gut. Uh, because it's actually quicker to just do it all at once instead of doing one line at a time. So we'll do that right here real quick. Uh, and I was hoping that the waves would be different here because we're at port, but it's still just as hard. I, I don't, oh, um, uh, is this gonna break the game if I say dock? Probably. Let's say no just in case because, oh god. Oh, it's broken. Oh no, what? Okay, okay, we're okay. Uh, that was weird. And I totally screwed up that one. Thankfully, I think that was the redfish. Yeah, we only gutted 209 kgs right there, so that was not one of our good fish. We have to focus on the good fish. Oh, come on. This is... You, you gotta understand, like, I am using my whole mouse pad, and I have an oversized mouse pad just trying to keep this thing straight. It's already off the damn mouse pad, so I gotta let it go, bring it back down, and there we go. I screwed it up, but you can do it. It's just... Oh, man, it is difficult. All right, speed run, speed run, speed run. Yeah, that was a good one. Those uh things were far away, so that's not too bad. And uh, that was the vast majority of it too, so we might actually make a lot of money because we just had a perfect run. Oh, 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 oh. That one wasn't bad at all either. Uh, that was probably even more ungutted. Uh, so we still have 407 kgs, so that's probably this one. And that's it. Okay, screwed up that one a little bit too, but not too bad, not too bad at all. All right, let's dock it up. And yeah, actually, ah, 34. Almost got what I was hoping for. That's not bad. We're at uh, 195. So let's go to town and let's go to the bank. So we got 300,000 for an interest rate of five. That's actually not bad at all. Downside being the term's only 12 months means, well, we could pay off the loan really quickly, which is good, but a monthly repayment of 25,000 kroners, that's actually pretty scary. So I'm actually thinking about going for the 400,000 for a 24 term loan. Therefore, that's actually the lowest monthly repayment. So that's probably the safest choice right now, but you can see we can go up to almost a million. So yeah, I'm going to buy this one. Let's do it guys. Screw it. And let's go and see how to do this next part because I am so excited. Don't get me wrong. The board just treated us right, but the shark, sharkin. Oh man, I, I, I can't pronounce anything in this game. This thing should be a little bit better. What's the difference in terms of size here? So boat length is 24 foot. Next boat is 34 foot. Uh, biggest question is how much can we hold? Where is that? Max line length is 1,000 hooks. Okay, so they're both 1,000 hooks. Uh, max lines is eight. Does it actually say how much we can hold? Unless I'm like not seeing it. Uh, total quota per year. Is that the max we can do? Is 4, 4, 400,000 kgs? That might be it. What's the difference? 110. Okay, so obviously it's a much better boat. It doesn't actually say anywhere how much storage there is, though. My dyslexia could be affecting me, though. I have no idea. We're buying it, though. Uh, Sharkin supports net fishing. Oh, damn. I didn't even know net fishing was in this game. Oh, that's a whole new mechanic we get to enjoy, guys. Uh, also supports one crew member who can assist you with the task on the boat. Find someone to hire at the bars in various ports. Check out it. Oh, at least it looks new, you know? This looks like a legit boat. Uh, so let's try this out. So unbaited, where do I buy baited long lines? Well, it's only got long lines here. So is there somewhere else where we gotta go? Maybe in town? Ah, there it is. Okay, so it is an upgrade. We have a net hauler for 20,000 kroners. Yeah, of course we're gonna buy that. Let's worry about the rest of the upgrades later. Let's just get this all set up so there should be nets in here now. Yes! Okay, this is exciting. Um, 
Well, we got money to spend, guys, so why not buy the 6,000 one? And I guess we should buy two because we're gonna need it. Should we go all out? Do we wanna... Because we can technically hire someone right now, too. Uh, we got three people who are looking for work. This lady, she's got lots of stamina, but her skill is pretty low. The benefit being her rate is 4% of our yield. These guys are a little bit more picky. They want some more money. So I think for right now, let's take a risk and buy her. Would you like to pay 12600 to hire Victoria? Yes. Every time you sell fish, they will take 4%. That's totally fine. I just want to see how that works. That sounds really cool to me. All right. I think... Do we have everything? Do we need to... We don't need to bait a net. That's the benefit of having a net. You just put it in and pull it up, right? So I'm just gonna go out to where we were. We will explore more of the ocean now that we have a bigger and faster boat, though. But uh, for right now, I just want to see... Something's blocking my way! That's so frustrating. What is blocking my way? Can you tell me? All right, let's bring that back over here. And... Oh, it's because this one... Why you gotta, gotta do that? There we go. Okay, so that should be good. And on we go to... Do I, I don't have any bait in the water, do I? I totally forgot if I did or not. All right, but we're here. It doesn't really say how to do this, so I guess we just kind of do it like the line, but I know... Well, do we keep the net in the water? I honestly have no idea. So let's just wait till we're in the middle of this. Kind of are now. And we will set the gear. Oh, God. Oh, God. What, what, what are you doing to me? Oh, okay, okay. So I need to keep that obviously in the middle. And... This is interesting. I love these mini games. So I guess we just gotta hold this here as long as we can. This reminds me of Tony Hawk trying to keep a grind straight. That's basically what I'm doing right now. I'm just turning the boat. Oh God, that's a big wave. That's a very big wave. And trying to keep it in the middle of this thing. Uh, Victoria, if you could help me, that'd be great. I don't see you on my boat or anything. But yeah, the benefit with this is, uh, I guess we don't need to let these things soak, so, uh, maybe I only needed to buy one net. We're at 96 out of 165 meters, though, or maybe the net does stay in the water. I don't know. I don't know too much about net fishing, so this is exciting. I'm assuming I'm doing this right. Again, there wasn't really a tutorial or anything. There is a wiki, so maybe I should go into that just to make sure I'm doing this right. We'll just see, though. Let's see what happens at the end of this. We gotta let it soak, or if it reels it in. I'm assuming it reels it in, but I could be totally wrong. Okay, 165 there. Whoa! Uh, what? Uh-oh. Okay, it's there? Okay, that was weird. So it is a legit net that's in the water. So I guess we're gonna let that soak. Let's just head back to town real quick. I just want to see if this works or not before we do too much. So we're gonna hit the map again and uh, go all the way back. Technically, we could do both nets, but I'm just more curious how this works. Are you good now? There we go. Please don't turn to red. Oh, God. Only one kilometer away. Okay, it's green. It's definitely not perfect, but it's not bad yet, so that, that that's a good thing. I don't see it, though. It did kind of glitch out at the end there, and... Oh, God. Oh, oh it's just there. Jeez, it's so freaking hard to see them. Ah, uh, it's just really foggy out, so let's get nice and close. Slow it down a little bit. I don't know how we're supposed to grab this. I'm assuming just like the other one. Yes! There we go. Get it in there. Grab it! Why are you not... Why is this not good? I, I guess we gotta align it right, so let's turn around here. Waste some more time so the fish can get out of the damn thing. Okay, this isn't good. You need another crew member to assist you with hauling the net? Oh, I hate you. I hate you so much. This net is screwed then? Oh, where is she? I hired her! What, I, 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 I gotta tell her to get on the boat? Damn it! Alright, so what, 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 what do I do? What, what? I don't want to fire her. I just... What do you do to put her on the boat? Get her on the boat, lady! Is she on the damn boat? Are you, are you like, in the... Are you in the cupboard? Jesus! Okay, let's, um... Uh, I need to get off this. So we gotta do that. Are you, are you down here? Where? I'm so confused. Oh! Ah! Oh, damn it, she was here the... Where, where are you on the boat, lady? <laughs> That's what I want to know. She's probably underneath resting like it says. So, she's here with us. Damn it. That re I really screwed up this. Sorry, guys. Uh, yeah, it, it didn't explain anything. It's just like, hey, here's your crew. I even went to the wiki just, just to let you know to read about crew. Didn't tell me how to equip my crew. So, I should have noticed this down here, I guess. I just didn't see the little button. So, we probably lost that net. Or, yeah, it's probably going to be gone by the time we get there. I don't know. Maybe, maybe maybe we'll get lucky though. Let's see here. Let's go back. This this is the ripe net right here. So we're gonna go and 
man. Please don't leave. Please. It's turning red, so it's not going to be a good load. That's that's the problem. The other one will be, though. It's still brewing. Uh, it's just uh, early red. Okay, so let's get her to uh, net haul with me. And then she can hand gut as well. That's kind of cool. So you just you tell her where to go. You are a legit boss to her. That's really cool. Uh, and then she can rest. And cooking in increases her energy or something. I was reading in the wiki, so... Uh, pretty interesting mechanics we got going on here. So let's see. Are we actually gonna be able to do it now? Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Yeah! Get the- Ah, oh, okay. I was hitting the wrong button. There we go. Haul it in. Oh, she's doing all of it. You're, you're, you're doing a good job. What, what am I supposed to do? S? Okay. What, what, what the- Okay. Um. I, I just hit S when it was fully green. I hope that's how to do it. What just happened? I got nothing. I got nothing. Okay, when hauling in the fishing net, you'll need to free the fish from the net with your hands. Enter the right key combinations as displayed on the screen as the net hauler hauls in the net. Uh, fish net can be used, if again, if it's not damaged. So, I think I did it right. I just, I think it was out too long. We didn't, we didn't get anything, guys. We did not get anything. So, fishing is as much a learning experience as it is, you know, a successful experience. So, let's just, uh, kind of drive around the water here a little bit and see if we can let this thing brew a little bit. Okay, it is blue. That means it's very, very good. Now, we should do this right now. I'm hoping. I'm praying we get some some good fishies out of this. So, come on. It's uh, raining out, but it's at least clear out, so I can see exactly where we need to go. I just got to do this right. Oh, look at that. She's out there now just waiting. Oh, this is so cool. I love commercial fishing games. I've only played a few. There was the deadliest catch a few years ago. Aw, uh, that's the only one that I can actually think of. So commercial fishing's just fun. There's something about it that's really, really fun. All right, but hopefully, come on. We, 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 we gotta get something in this one, at least something. There we go. All right, so I need to, yes, as the fish comes, I need to press W, A, W, D. Okay, I get it now, I understand. Oh my God, you are ugly. D, A, A, D. All right, at least it's W, A, S, D, I think. I don't think there's gonna be other uh, things because I am very bad at typing, so. The, the, the few keys that I can press well are W, A, S, and D. So, yeah, this is basically DDR for fishing. I love it! I absolutely love it. These mini games are great. And, uh, we got five out of nine, so it's looking like we got a decent amount. I don't know. I guess we'll see at the end here how much in terms of kilos we got with this. The benefit with net fishing is I don't need to spend anything. As, as long as the net doesn't break, like it said, uh, I don't need to spend a damn thing. And it does cost a lot to bait those nets. So this is uh, definitely a better idea. Unfortunately, it takes a lot more time to soak. So we got, oh yeah, we got lots of money, guys. This, <laughs> oh, all right. We can tell her to gut the fish if we want to. And you know what? Why not? I, I've done enough gutting myself. I want to see if she actually does it. So you are going to go over and hand cut. She's walking. Oh, that's so cool. She's going to go do it for me. I love it. I love this crew crew mechanic. Now, she's she's definitely a greenhorn, so hopefully she doesn't screw up too much. But I, I, I'm trusting her, man. Okay, so we're back. It didn't tell me how good she did. Uh, 127 kgs got it. Oh, she's still doing it? Oh, my God, lady. Oh, my God. It takes you forever. Can I help you? Are you just gonna... No, you're not gonna let me help you. Okay, so what if we... Unfortunately, I need to go back to my seat to go to this view to tell her to go away. Because she's taking forever, so go back to rest. I... Did she just go into that thing? That's where she rests? Okay, let, let me show you. She walked to the back. I thought this was like an outhouse or something or a safety place for when there's waves. No, she's resting in there. That's that's her cubby hole. I love it. All right, so we have uh, a little bit more fish to gut, so let's do it. We should be faster than her, and look at that. Skills to pay the bills, ladies and gentlemen. Getting a little bit better now. These ones are not so bad, but still, sometimes you can really screw up. These damn bubbles! I hate them. All right, and we are done. Let's dock up and see how much money we made. So not too bad, not too bad at all. 57,000, and that's with a lot of fails as well. Let's keep that in mind. So... Yeah, gotta say, that was really, really good. So yeah, we're gonna wrap up this episode of Fishing Barren Sea here, guys. We got a new boat, we got a crew, we're doing net fishing now. That's a pretty good episode, in my opinion. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Thank you for all your support in this series. My god, I didn't expect you guys to like this so much. Uh, we'll be definitely doing some more, getting to the bigger and better boats. But I want to do a little bit of net fishing on the next one and truly get a lot of money. So as always, thanks for watching and liking, guys. And I'll see you in the next one. Thank <laughs> you.